moving pieces, and typing on the text boxes in Google Slides. So in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through how you can manipulate the movable pieces in Google Slides and write in the text boxes. If you're using a digital notebook or a digital guided reading or any other platform where you have to move pieces and run the box. Now, the most common mistake that occurs is people go into the present mode and they try and move the boxes this way. And if you notice, you can't do that. All it does is go to the next slide. You can't move the pieces when you're in present mode. And you'll know that you're in present mode because you're gonna have down here a place to move the slides and play button. So you need to exit out of present mode. And what you need to be is in edit mode, which is what you originally are in when you first open up your Google slide. So when you're in edit mode, this is where you can move your boxes. So in edit mode, I can easily move my figures to the correct spot. And in edit mode, I can also type in the boxes here. I just click on it. and add my information. So again, if you are having to move pieces on a Google slide, dragging and dropping objects, or writing in the text boxes, you need to make sure that you're in edit mode, which you'll know because you'll have one slide on your screen and you're gonna have all these other slides on the side here. This is the, slide, the place you want to be if you want to work on um, moving the movable pieces and writing in your box. You do not want to be in the present mode because unlike apps that you'd have on your phone or your tablets, this will not allow you to move your pieces. All it's going to let you do is move from one slide to the next. So that's how you move pieces and write in the text boxes when you're working within Google Slides. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.